Hey guys, Peter Steele here, back with another video, and today we are taking another look at the Hoi4 Dev Diaries for No Step Back and Barbarossa. Today I think we are going to get some good stuff here with the Officer Corps, and it looks like this is where they've been hiding the good stuff. The hat is where your Officer Corps will be residing. It looks like the top slots up here are what used to be your advisors or your theorists, and this is where you'll pick them from now on. They are removing those from the current political window and the branches below this is where your specialists will be your Air Force Command, Navy Command and Army Command. Not only that but it looks like this is also where you'll see all your buffs, which is nice. A nice overview of just how your army or how your country's military is uh, performing. But that looks like doctrine buttons. It looks like this is where we'll do our doctrine research moving forward. Now, all of this is placeholder or rather work in progress. So none of this is final, but I like the way they're going with this. This looks very interesting. I can only applaud the them for putting more effort into the military aspect of a military simulation game. Another nice thing they are teasing here is that every one of those advisors will actually start giving you army experience gain. So no longer just the theorists, every single one of those guys will now increase your daily army experience gain or your navy experience gain, air force experience gain. Depending on what branch of the military they are relevant to, they will increase that experience experience which is great because we are going to need so much experience to design a few tanks moving forward not only that their rank as you can see here the advisor rank indicates both the magnitude of their modifier bonus and the daily experience you will gain meaning the better your specialist is or your advisor is the more experience he'll give you and the bigger the buff he will contribute i wonder if there will be a way to rank these guys it also looks like they changed the cost here somewhat instead of just being political power it's split between political power and command power but this looks very placeholder, so let's not pin ourselves on this. It does look interesting, so you don't have to waste or spend all your political power on this. They'll actually give you something to use that command power on, other than spamming last stand for the memes. Now this segment might uh, actually be interesting for the modders among you. They've made changes to how advisors, spirits and command systems work by adding something called characters. Uh, I have no idea just how big that change is, but they are pointing this directly at modders. That is gonna, yeah, it's gonna make some pretty sweeping changes. I, I'm interested to see what comes out of this. And because the Army High Command is the theme of this death diary, we could not leave the generals and field marshals behind, no. There will be more interactions with your generals moving forward. Uh, take the example here of Ernst Eberhard's Hell. You can assign the man to desk duty. That's right, look at this. There will be an option to turn field command generals into those advisors we saw earlier and add them to your military high command. Now, I don't know if this takes them out of the field and puts them in an office in Berlin or your capital or whatever, or if it's a dual purpose so they can still command the army. Either way, this is a very big change and they're actually doing a lot of stuff right with this. The way it looks now is depending on what traits the general has picked up and what rank he is when you want to shove him in an office he will be able to take certain bonus or provide certain bonuses to the entire army or you will have to make very difficult changes do i want my entire army to have this buff or do i want this guy in the field giving me those traits interested very much looking forward to this then they're talking about experience. They are changing experience gain, uh, both buffing it by allowing your advisors to each give you daily army experience, navy experience, etc. But they're also significantly reducing the amount of experience you get in actual combat, making it less dependent on actual fighting, which I guess makes sense to compensate for all the new ways they're adding. And they're also splitting it apart as in a, so only a certain percentage of your total experience can come from 
fighting to prevent you from just flooding in army experience by having a massive line pushing into the Soviet Union, for example, or if you're China having 3 billion useless divisions doing combat and generating army experience. It's going to be a balancing act. I think we'll need to see some playtesting before we know just how right they've tuned army experience, but I understand that they need to change things because of the amount of experience needed moving forward with the tank designer and with the way that doctrines are going to be researched, but they also need to keep things in check because if army experience is free, none of that matters. So we'll have to wait and see what the testing brings, but I am optimistic. Speaking of doctrines, it doesn't look like they've changed the tree much from what I can tell from the screenshot. It's also <laughs> highlighted down here. They, there have been no major structural changes to doctrine layouts. Um, individual doctrines will probably be tuned just if, if for nothing else, just to make superior firepower no longer the default pick. But the important thing here is that we can see a little bit of a cost here. The base cost for a Doctrine tech seems to be 100 experience. And there are several ways that this can be modified, like they say here, by your current focus trees and certain events. So what used to just be a research buff, I assume will now be a cost reduction for your army experience required to research the Doctrine. Now, I don't know if these are going to be time-based, as in you need 100 army experience to click the button and then wait the 300-ish days that it takes to research, or if it's just click the button and it's instant. No news on that, but they are promising more dev diaries on this topic moving forward. All in all, it's it's a rather short dev diary, but what they've shown me here, yeah, I am very optimistic, very optimistic. I'm mostly interested in finding out just what is hiding in that army command. There are buttons here that I want to click. I want to know what they do. I want to play this expansion. I'll be honest with you. I'm really looking forward to this. If you have any idea what these things could be hiding, let me know in the comments. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing for more regular content. If you didn't like it, that's fine. Just tell me in the comments what I did wrong. Always looking to improve. And with that, I have been Bittersteel. See you in the next one. Goodbye.